My next guest is the author of Stop Line, Get Un Getting Unlost and Unstuck in Your Life. It's based on almost three decades of professional work and a lifetime of thinking about the problem. Um, the book describes and illustrates the central mistake behind all the ways we mess up our lives or others mess them up for us. So joining me now, author and psychologist Bennett Pelosi. Did I say that correctly? Almost. Almost? almost. Tell me again. Tell me again. Pelosi. Pelosi. Okay. All right. This is... 30, 30 years in the making. You started when you were like five or something. You must have, I mean, you don't look I very old. I was 56 three days ago. <laughs> well, happy belated. Thank you. Um, tell us st about Stop Lying. What do we need to know? Well, you said a lot of it, <laughs> which is, uh, it is how we mess up our lives and how our lives get messed up for us. And at the bottom of all of that, I, I really mean this, whether it's obsessive problems, depression, anxiety, irrational fears, relationship troubles, Domestic violence as victim or perpetrator, mm -hmm. substance abuse, chasing the wrong people. All of these things at their core have lies, unconscious lies, so not what, conscious so, lies. And it, we all have like the same lie? No, no, no. Okay. So there is a lie at the core of all these things. And here's the really important two points. One is when you can't get over these problems, you know, you've read about them, you've gone to self-help books, you've gone to therapy, mm -hmm. you've talked to friends, and you keep staying in the same patterns and you're stuck. It's because there's an unconscious lie, sometimes many, that you have to root out. Okay. Now, here's the really cool part. Okay. When you find it, when you catch the lie, it really happens this way. The truth floods in, and your symptoms go away. You get unstuck. Oh. It really happens that way. So Therapy is not easy. It's long, and it's, it, it can be long. Um, it's not particularly comfortable, but that's the one magic thing. When you catch these lies, your problems Start to so has your job been finding people's lies? Because maybe they don't even realize what their lie is. Is that the issue? I'm going to go farther than that. Okay. I don't know. I, well, I do know why the public doesn't get this message. <laughs> but in the psychology world, in the professional world, this is not a secret. All therapies work this way. Okay. With very, very few exceptions. I don't care whether it's dialectical behavior therapy or cognitive behavior therapy, things you might have heard of, or all the psychoanalytic, psychodynamic kinds of therapies, or weird encounter groups that Woody Allen made fun of in the movies <laughs> in, the, in the 70s. They all do the same thing. They're catching you in your lies. Again, let me emphasize, unconscious lies. Okay. We're not talking about what we do on purpose. That's <laughs> and when you talk about lying, lying to ourselves, is it also lying to other people? Well, yeah. you're, yes, it's lying to yourself that's really what's going on. You're lying to other people uh, as a side effect of that. Can I give an example? Go ahead. I would love it. Yeah. Uh, two, two minutes, one minute, how long? You've got like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> They're wrapping Okay, I'm going to do this really okay. fast. Okay. It's a movie called Good Will Hunting, mm -hmm. which a lot of people have seen. The lie in the movie, if you haven't seen it, go take a look at okay. it. Um, the lies in the movie are very simple and they, they're the common ones. The kid grows up saying, I ain't scared. I know better than all of you. I don't need any of you. I know what happened to me. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And of course, the discovery he makes in the movie is, first of all, he doesn't know everything. <laughs> he doesn't need to push everybody away. He isn't smarter and better than everybody, even though he's read more books. And he begins to make friends with his therapist. And the big climactic therapy scene in the movie is the therapist getting into his face saying, all that abuse that happened, the physical abuse when you were a kid, it wasn't your fault. Hmm. And the kid keeps going, yeah, I know. Goes, no, 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 it wasn't your fault. And Robin Williams is a therapist. He gets right yeah. in the kid's face and he keeps saying it until the kid breaks down. He's racked with sobs because he, he doesn't know. That's the lie, the big lie he's been telling himself. I know what happened to me. My father's an idiot. No, no, no. If you see the movie, you'll realize he, he lives a very depressed life, yeah. very constricted, inhibited life, because he believes what his father taught him when he was this right. big, which is that right. you're a little puke and you deserve to be right. happy. When that's discovered, his life clears up, right. symptoms go away. It really works that way. We could spend a lot more time on this, but um, you, you, even though you're based out of Manhattan, Manhattan people uh, can do online sessions, Skyping, yes. the beauty of the internet, um, they can find you online as well. I have patients I've only seen on the internet. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, Aboutpsychotherapy.com is how they can find you and your book, Stop Lying, Don't Do It Anymore, right? <laughs> that would <laughs> be a good title. Don't There's do your next anymore. one, number two, coming at you. <laughs>